Oh, we're on a ghost hunt, motherfuckers. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to DigiBros. Fucking DigiBros. We just took a break to eat some Taco Ooh. Bell. Uh, I'm like, I'm realizing how full I am. I gotta take my shirt off. I gotta wear it like hair. Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 nigga, whoa, whoa, why would you... Why, when I started saying whoa, did you keep doing what I, you were doing? Because it was falling off either way. It is, this is hissing at me. It's a champagne bottle. And, and I, I forget that there's things like champagne bottles sitting about. <laughs> Victor, Victor threw his shirt over the back of his head so he could wear his shirt as hair, <laughs> and then it got it got caught on a champagne bottle, and I said whoa, and he decided to then yank on the shirt. I wasn't like, yanking on it; it was it was falling off either way. Oh, that's like by making a very creepy hiss way. behind my head. You mean the shirt was falling? Yes, off? the shirt was. was that would have been a good thing. Already falling off of my head. It, being attached to your head was the problem. Anyways, um. Yeah, we just ate some Taco Bell. It's pretty yeah. good, honestly. Uh, I'm really full now. I'm I haven't, I haven't been to Taco Bell in a while because I, I try to avoid fast food as much as I can. Most of it makes me feel like dog shit. Taco Bell's but great. I just, I just got a little bit. Got a couple little dollar menu items. Their beefy quesadilla is good. And mm -hmm. their uh, Frito burrito. Taco is Bell is the only fast food that can be cheaper than just buying groceries. Yeah. Like, it is because actually it, you, can, you can fill up on on four dollars at most you know and it's like i can live like this yeah um i mean we ate we ate a lot of taco bell back before i had money i ate shit tons of taco bell like when i when i did have to like you know mostly eat cheaper food yeah i mean we live next to a taco right bell. now like I've, I've been buying real cheap from walmart and stuff and the thing is like you can get you can feed yourself on real cheap, it's just gonna taste like shit. Yeah. Like, the ingredients are just kind of terrible. That's why it's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <coughs> but yeah, um... This is very Ocarina of Time. It is very Ocarina of Time. I fought Bongo Bongo, exactly Bongo like too. I, I don't know if I should go show everyone that, but... There's a boss in here that's just Bongo Bongo from Ocarina of Time. I yeah, think I know thing. what you're talking about. Yeah, he's just two hands with eyeballs, and I was like, what the fuck?! Recycling ideas in the same generation. Uh, <coughs> they would have come out that's around the same from, time. That's I where it came from, right? <coughs> so we were just talking about your Victor's planning to make a documentary of Radcon. Yeah. Um, and uh, <coughs> we were discussing the fact that you were that that. That uh, documentaries tend to open with these bombastic yeah. intros. All, all documentaries these days have to have like a, a several minute long opening credit scene that's like super expensive and has like CGI graphics and like all of this. It's always got to have like a super badass song and like all this cool shit going on just to get you super hyped to watch like some autistic kid play ping pong. <laughs> and they're, they're fucking ridiculous. So I was imagining the the badass bombastic opening sequence for the procrastinators documentary did you actually watch a documentary about an autistic yes kid i was, I was gonna talk about that after we talk about this um, because it, it had a wonderful <laughs> twist in it that i would like to, to well, like, share when with you, you when you said because the song you were singing earlier was highway to hell yes which of course is just the opening of amv hell 3 which is why you're thinking <laughs> of it as an opening to a documentary yes um <clears throat> but i hate those at the start of documentaries uh -huh. because i just want to hear the point, to and me as they, soon as it's like, uh, as soon as I've been hearing a song for like a whole minute, like like or several minutes, I'm like, oh god, it is just like, get it's started. A, it's a very old old media way to approach a documentary because they're thinking about it in the terms of it's a feature film that right. needs an opening credit sequence. I hate and that there's even all these films, people that though. worked on it. Yeah, I hate when I go to see a movie like, and opening like so much of it is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm just like they did I that in a the thing, a short film I worked on. Which I got to see the debut of for a for a little contest festival, and like they, they, the director went all out and like paid someone to do like these badass you know badass graphic intro with all this CGI stuff because it's supposed to be like a like a a science thriller kind of thing like oh there's a there's a virus that's making people zombies basically kind of thing so it's like this whole CGI virus thing going on and it's like. So fucking unnecessary, and it ends up being like two minutes long for a, for a 15 minute film that's not nearly as nice looking as that graphic was. So it's, yeah. it feels weird and out of place. Like, I guess it's setting a tone, 
but then when you when you get that level of hype from the intro and then it's just like whatever for the film yeah. then it's very stupid i'm trying to remember what the most recent example was of like something some movie i watched in theaters and i was oh like, oh 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 <laughs> Oh, he killed me. I tried to kill him, and he, he killed... I did not expect that shit at all! Amazing. I will get back in there. I was jumping to this. What? Well, it popped me out of the fountain, so I figured maybe I gotta go back in the fountain. No. I gotta kill this guy again. Every time. Um, that's great that you fell for that. Uh... That that was ridiculous. Yeah, uh, bleh, what the fuck were we talking about? This place about? is fucked, man. I'm talking about, the, yeah, movie intros. There was some movie I watched recently where I was like, the, like it was doing the whole long song intro thing, and I was just like, ah, like, every movie has done this. You yeah. don't need to it's do this. It's not new anymore. It know? feels like it's an obligation, or like, like every director likes those in movies, so they want to put it in their movie, even though it adds nothing to the experience. It was probably Doctor Strange. Like, I'm sure that had a, yeah, it had like a huge, like, ridiculous one. Did it? Yeah, because it was some kind of like. That opened up on the whole monk scene, though. Didn't it go into one where it was no, all no, no. trippy? Oh, no, that's an ending credit scene, probably. Yeah, that, that, that one that's, started that's off with the monks and the I, I do like the, the the cool ending credits, because it makes you stick around. Endings, to actually yeah, ending them. credits is fine. Like, whatever, I'm already done with the movie, you know? But yeah. I just hate when I'm thinking, like, get on with it. I want to see the fucking movie already, you know? Yeah. Especially if it's, like, a documentary where it just feels, like, irrelevant to yes. the subject matter. Like <laughs> It's completely, completely out of place. Does not matter at all. Because I mean, documentaries are really not much different from YouTube videos, and yeah, what I expect from a YouTube video point. is for it to fucking start. You know, the longest I'll accept is like a Casey Neistat, a uh, couple of seconds of some groovy, uh, you know, yeah. uh, hip hop track and some cityscape shots, and then it's like, all right, cool, you've set the tone, let's get started. You know, um, I gotta, gotta like get the blue boxes or something. Like, how do how the fuck do I get through this level? <laughs> It's just been You're nonsense the hunt. entire time. You have to hunt a ghost. I think you have oh, to find maybe. the big I gotta ghost. kill these guys? Maybe. Oh, ghosts don't die. <laughs> Where I get out of here a lot. Coins, I guess. Um, you said you wanted to talk about the autistic uh, ping pong player yeah, documentary? Uh, there's a documentary on Netflix. I just watched it with Hope, like, yesterday. And it's about an autistic kid playing ping pong, obviously. But there's there's a certain twist in the movie because I'm I'm watching it and it, it's pretty cool and there's like a little montage scene where it's playing Mac DeMarco and I was like oh cool Mac DeMarco is being played in this documentary that's neat and then halfway through the documentary like he's kind of like he he keeps losing at playing ping pong or whatever and he's like getting all depressed and then like he gets an email from Mac DeMarco <laughs> because apparently Mac DeMarco had seen this kid at a ping pong tournament before. And, like, one of his friends knew him and gave him his contact, and so he was offering for this kid to play ping pong with him if he ever came to, like, New York or whatever. And I was like, huh. what the fuck? And then I was like, is he gonna end up playing ping pong with Mac DeMarco? And sure enough, at the end of the movie, like, this is, like, the climax of this documentary. The kid, like, loses this huge tournament, he's getting all depressed, but then, like, he... He goes out and he gets a job, and like he's trying to get his, his shit together and be more independent and be happier because he keeps getting stressed out, and that's why he can't win these ping pong tournaments. And so he goes to New York and he hangs out with Max and Marco. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and they're just like playing ping pong and dicking around New York, and he goes to see a show. And that was like the big climax of this movie, and then he goes and wins a tournament. And I was like, so. That's the boo. You gotta kill that boo. Oh shit, you're right. But it was it was pretty funny because I did not see that shit coming at all, and it was super cool. It was chill, chill pimp, and it was amazing that like that it it seemed like the the way they made it was like hanging out with Mac DeMarco was the thing that it, that like opened this kid's eyes and let him enjoy life, <laughs> and that's what made him win the tournament. Amazing. It was very magical. So I would recommend watching that documentary just to see. What's it called? Uh, I don't remember. Some just ping pong wizard, whatever. It's new on Netflix. It's not hard to find. You read the descriptions and you'll find it. There's so many documentaries on Netflix about autistic people now. It's ridiculous. It's like the the new thing. It seems. Well, I mean that's not surprising because it's like yeah, you know, yeah, it is the new thing. But they literally just dropped like three documentaries about autistic people. One of them is it's called like it's it's about 
driver's ed courses for autistic kids or something. It's weird. I haven't watched it yet, but uh, just the thumbnail. I was like, oh, sweet. Let me... I, I'm just so fascinated with autism now that I'm gonna watch autistic kids learn to drive. Yeah. Sounds like it could be exciting. Possibly. <clears throat> Why don't you go to the upper part of the castle? Can That's you go what there? I'm trying to do. Cause I got into the key. I thought it was for the like second basement yeah. or some shit. No, nah, you gotta go to the upper part of the castle. That was fast. I feel like I'm already most of the way through this game. I. There's only three Bowsers, right? Think you? Yeah, there's only three Bowsers. I think there's probably like five oh. levels that you haven't been to yet. Five worlds. I see. This game's shorter than I thought it was. I don't know why you thought it was long. You can beat this because game I've like never three beaten minutes. it, so I just always imagined it was so long. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, so there's like a th and a second upper and then a big upper. Yeah, because uh, I uppers downers. I know that up there is the the clock tower level, and that's the one I had gotten to. That's like the last world or whatever. I that's think. the second to last, like second hardest place in the yeah. game is the clock tower. Because I that was the place where I had stopped playing. <laughs> There is a lot of fucking paintings. I don't know which ones are. Whoa! That's me. Yeah. I am in the. I am in a mirror world. I am in the Doom Dimension. I'm the man in the Doom box. Doom Dimension. Doom right, so Dimension. This is a new place. Yeah, but this isn't how you get there. Uh, this is, that's the neat big place, small place, where it's like one side uh, of the hallway is big and the other side is small. Oh, oh look. That's a secret place because yeah, it's not there. reflected. Yeah, chicha chip off the bop block. Popsicle. Let's go. I remember. It's a shame there's only like four songs in this game. <laughs> I know, what the fuck? There's an extreme lack of musical diversity. They probably couldn't fit oh. any more songs in it. Oh! Like. N64 cartridges are not known for it being able to hold a lot of stuff. Didn't and the sound files are pretty songs? big. Yeah, maybe they. I feel like this uh, game's bigger than Ocarina of Time. Ah! That was a mysterious man. Yeah, but who was Ocarina appeared. of Time a launch title? Like, did it come out know. the same? I don't fucking know. I don't think so. Like, I think they, like, basically, like, made the N64 around this game kind of thing. Yeah. You know, like, they, they I don't know. I'm not gonna fucking say a bunch of shit. Yes, please mansplain <laughs> Nintendo to me and why there's only four songs in Mario. Well, I, you know, I don't consider it mansplaining or whatever you want, I but being, I just don't want to, uh, ironic, I don't want to so say, mansplaining. I don't want to say a bunch of shit that other people definitely know the answers to, yeah. and I don't. And then end up having people go, uh, actually, it's, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm a writer. Uh, I'm a. Ah! I'm. I'm a writer. <laughs> uh, what's, what's going on? Oh, uh, yeah. I, uh, I think I was gonna talk oh, about. Gee, oh, God, I'm dying! The water's too cold. You can't go in that water. You were right. Um,. I think I was gonna say something, but then, like, before we started the show. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about how I was like, you know, it's funny. Um, I was thinking, well, I haven't done a decompression chamber, like, in over a week, so oh. surely I'll have more to say on Digibros. But then it occurred to me that that's probably why I haven't done a decompression <laughs> chamber. <laughs> don't have anything to, say. Don't have anything oh, to God, talk about. Jesus. But it's because, like, you know, um,. Redcon's coming, and yeah. I'm trying to, not only am I trying to get a lot of stuff done before it starts, but also just, like, I'm kind of revamping my main channel to to be what it was supposed to be months ago. Because uh -huh. when the first Radcon happened was when I was in that era where I was talking about vlogs and, like, renovating the channel with vlogs and, like, doing all this different kind of content and, like, yeah. I was gonna... Basically... Whoa, look at this guy. The thing about... YouTube is that like you know uh, viewer retention is really important oh. and so having lots of videos consistently is really important right like yeah. if you have a video out every day more people are gonna be uh, tuning in and, and YouTube really rewards you for how long you keep people on your channel um, so it's like a good idea to have more content even if it's not like as long as it's something people will watch like look who mastered the half press motherfucker <laughs> hell yeah was that the the half A press? Yes, I was doing the half press so I could do the jump kick. Cause I am elite hacks. I are hacks the game. I have manipulated the code. It's in my code. 
Dude, I chilled with the bully, dog. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Anyway, um, what the fuck was I talking about? It was the best fucking game. Oh yeah, just like, that. the way, like, it, it used to be, like, when I created this After Dark channel, well, this was, wasn't really why it was created. Better example would be when I created the Digi Does Anime channel, which yeah. was, like, just a place for getting out opinions on videos. Like, back then, a lot of us saw it as, like, you know, your main channel has to have a certain level of quality because people aren't going to watch all your bullshit. Yeah. And so you put all your bullshit on another channel and, like kind of hoped maybe that one would take off like like game grumps you know but then it it probably won't but these days people are so much more like reticent to just fuck watching yeah, like what the fuck ever yeah you know um and a lot of people's main channels like pewdiepie have become like your after dark channel like <clears throat> right it's just whatever they want now because that's what people want they just want to see tons and tons of whatever the fuck you're doing right but they you can't have it be like you know nothing quality yeah but like Really, H3H3 was kind of like the eye-opener. When they, like, H3H3 Productions had, they they kept raising the quality of their main channel content. And so they made this other channel called Ethan and Ela. And Ethan and Ela was, like, just for, like, random whatever. But then they ended up raising the quality of that one until the two of them were, like, kind of, like, like Ethan and Ela was just, like, a medium version, you know? But yeah. people were watching those just as much as the main channel content, and all that dividing them, their their content between the two channels was doing, was hurting both. Yeah. You know, like, the main channel was not growing fast enough because it would take so long for a video to come out on that quality level, mm -hmm. whereas people were going to watch the Ethan and Ela videos anyways. Yeah. It didn't even have any <laughs> less views than a main channel video, so it's like, why bother considering these two separate things if the Ethan and Ela videos are, are practically you know, the same level of uh, quality anyways, and people will watch it just as readily. So, when that was going on, I was talking about how I wanted to get, you know, less- Oh my god. This is fucking terrifying. You have to- you have to use him. I see. That thing's gonna breathe ice at you, and you have to hide behind the penguin and match its pace as you cross the bridge, or else Whoa. you'll get blown off. Well, fucking spoiler alert. <clears throat> it's hard, so. This is the coolest shit in the fucking world, man. What See, sometimes the penguin's walking game. slow, and sometimes it walks fast. So you gotta make sure you match pace with the penguin, or else you get blown up. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah no! Oh, I stopped with it. I didn't um, realize that it was gonna... I thought I was, I thought I was clear. I thought I was home free. Anyway, yeah, so... Uh, the thing is, After Dark has, you know, all these vlogs on it, and, like, the main the main problem with them is that they're mostly unedited, and they have garbage video and audio quality. But all those things are really easy to fix. Like, yeah. all I have to do to make the Fuck. lighting acceptable is to turn on some lights. And all I have yeah. to do to make the audio acceptable is you had up a microphone. Me, you had me set up the, that lighting thing. You, you paid for the apparatus. What apparatus do you mean? The... The fluorescence out in the studio. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's for the studio. I'm talking about After Dark. Well, I thought the whole point was that the vlogs were going to go to the studio, like I've been <laughs> saying to you before. Is that I thought that was you your were misunderstanding gonna, from the gonna, beginning. You're going to put the After Dark vlogs in the studio, and that's why you wanted me to do that no, no, general no, no. lighting. After Dark vlogs were never going to come to the main channel. I was going to invent a new kind of vlog for the yeah. main channel, which I'm now doing. Yes. But the the whole idea was, like, After Dark Vlogs, because I've gotten good enough at, at unscripted content that, like, with just a little bit of light editing, a little bit of lighting, and turning on a microphone, it would be good enough for main channel content. Fuck. But I didn't know what I wanted it to be. Because, like, all my random topic vlogs, like, any of those... I don't want them on the main channel because they're so unstructured that they don't really make the point well. Uh -huh. You know, like, yeah, a lot of them have an interesting thing to say, but they're they're not, like... <clears throat> I, I want the stuff on After Dark to just be like, here's an idea worth thinking about, not like, yeah. here's my argument. Because, you know, people are gonna poke holes in your argument if it's not tightly written and, like, yeah. well-structured and all that stuff. So, you know, I prefer for my main channel content to be... I mean, maybe this division is pointless anyways, but, like... That's just how I think of it. It's like, um, I want the stuff on the main channel to be like, complete ideas that yes. I've already thought about. Where After Dark is like, I usually get the idea right before I make the video about yes. it, you know. Um, but I wanted there to be some kind of, like, Ethan and Ela level content for the main channel that would tide people over in between, you know, the like, week or so it takes me usually to get a new video out. And I just 
didn't come up with because originally what I thought it was going to be is I would just like watch current shows and talk about them with like Davu, you know, yeah. or with you. Whoa! And then um I didn't think he was going to go backwards. Ah, oh, fuck. No, ah, oh, bitch. Okay. I just really lost all enthusiasm for the idea of covering current shows and uh and I didn't, it, just the whole vlog format thing just wasn't immediately appealing because I had a bunch of other ideas I wanted to do, you know, and stuff that, that having to move around liberated me towards. Uh -huh. But now, it's like I finally am thinking about that stuff again because I'm like, okay, well, I've done the experimentation. I know what works and what doesn't. We've got all this stuff set up, like, God damn and it. I have a good enough idea for what to do. Shit, so shit, shit, shit. so I, I'm, I'm trying to Get alter... Out. It's hard to talk when you're I've, like... I, I, I gotta <laughs> react. Um, oh god, I forgot what I was fucking saying. It was hard. <laughs> your, your dick was real hard. It, it's just... Um, oh my god, I don't remember. Anyway, the point is I'm making new stuff for the main channel. It's gonna yes. evolve. There's finally gonna be the vlog content I've been talking about. I'm finally gonna start doing some non-anime videos, which I've been saying I would do forever. And somehow I've been doing less and less of over time. That, like, I used to always say, oh, I'm going to eventually talk about, like, movies and games and uh, music. Uh, and, you know, I used to actually do some of that. And then, like, the majority of 2016, I did absolutely none of well, it. Well, because you were trying to build yourself as an anime guy. I already had that established. Yeah. Like, that was my excuse way back. But I was, even back then, I was still making game videos, you know. True. And then, like, once I became established as an anime guy, I was like, okay, now I can do other stuff. And then I just didn't have the motivation to do other stuff. I was just yeah. like, yeah, I'll just keep doing anime shit. Who cares? Um, and because it was like, I was just doing other stuff on the, on the vlogs, you know, but now I'm like, okay, well, I've got some good ideas. For no, why God did you, damn it. Why did you rush it? I thought I was safe. Why would you just assume you were safe? Because why not I was, just follow because the Because I was afraid. I was afraid. Next time on Digi Bros. Having a good ass time.